Thank you for joining me for this episode of Brutal Battle Beer Break. Today I'm going to be doing a more local uh, brewery to me, uh, one that I've only had one of their beers before. I haven't done any on the show or any on any of uh, these videos, but it's by Manor Hill Brewing out of Ellicott City, uh, Maryland, and it's a grisette that is 4.7% alcohol by volume. Now, two things. One, this Manor Hill Brewery is, uh, sorry, Manor Hill Brewing is actually on a farm about, I think it was like two years ago, Maryland passed some legislation allowing farms to have their own breweries. And this is one of them, and they've been pumping out some really good stuff from what I'm told. Uh, I've had, like I said, one of their other offerings, and I thought it was quite good. Heard this one's great. The other thing, grisettes. Uh, people have said that grisettes are a lot like saisons. Uh, so I looked into it a little bit, and now the word grisette, if you look it up, mainly refers to uh, 17th century French young women who um, were working women, uh, is one of them. But uh, one of the other things it says is they were women who were part-time prostitutes, part-time working some other occupation. So why I ended up getting this name, kind of interesting. But it was mainly done where saisons were done for farmers, this one was done, grisettes were done for uh, miners. And the big difference between the two uh, old style saisons were mainly known for like their uh, lactic acid qualities, and the grisettes were mainly known for their uh, fla hop flavors, hop forward flavors. So, um, other than that, they're kind of similar from what I hear. But let's get this going. Oh, I better show you the label. Yes, grisette by Manor Hill Brewing. Excited for this one. I like saisons and things that are of that ilk. All right. Very, very yellow. I mean, it looks very saison -y. Yellow, whitish. Obviously, you can see it had a lot of head the way I poured it. Uh, hazy. Let me show you. See? Very light. It looks even lighter on the screen, but uh, it's a little more yellow in person. Um, all right. Ooh. It smells a lot like a saison. That same kind of yeasty, biscuity, saison type smell. There's a bit of a funky quality to it. <coughs> Excuse me. Funky quality in the nose kind of choked me a little bit, but there's a bit of a funky quality to it that you do get from an older style uh, Saison as well. There's a decent amount of hop character in there, kind of citrusy. A little bit of banana, hint of like some banana notes, but there's a lot of lemon. There's a little lemon rind, but a lot of lemon juice to it. Um, it smells really good, actually. Ooh, it's almost got a little bit, interestingly enough, of like a salty quality to it, but not in a bad way, in a good way. It's got a lot of that <coughs> kind of like, <coughs> excuse me, lemon rind type flavor to it. It's got that yeasty characteristic, much like Saison's, a little biscuity. Um, mm. Tad bit funky. But it definitely has this kind of savory, salty finish to it, um, which is nice. I mean, this is a this is a good beer. Nice. It's uh, it's nice to have another grisette. It, I haven't had many grisettes in my life. Maybe two other ones other than this. So, uh, Manor Hill, good job on this beer, and uh, good job picking up a style that people usually don't do. So, um, awesome. Anyway, thanks everyone for checking this out. Thank you, Manor Hill, for doing the beers you do and farming too because that's important, a part of our uh, economy, and how are people going to eat otherwise, or get feed for animals, or whatever. Anyway, thanks so much, everybody. Go try to find yourself a grisette to uh, enjoy. If you have ideas, though, send it to me. See what, um, If you see something out, out there in the liquor stores and everything that you want me to try, you just let me know, brutalbattlepodcast at gmail.com, and I'll see what I can do. Anyway, go have yourself an awesome beer.